are back with another episode of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. We got our start in the last episode, and now we are heading to San Gen Town to try to explain to the professor why we had to uh, use the starter there to fend off those start. Uh, but one thing I actually should mention that I forgot to play in the last episode, uh, this Let's Play series will be running Monday through Friday, and until we finish the game, like, and, uh, and by finish the game, I mean, well, that might be a while, because there's going to be a lot of stuff I'm planning to do with this game. But, nonetheless, until I decide that I finish with the game, we are going to have episodes Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. Eastern. Alright, so, uh, without further ado, let's go into this patch of grass here, and... Our first encounter is... A Bidoof! Yes, uh, the famous speed. When it comes to these Pokemon games here. Now, we cannot catch this Bidoof uh, just yet because, well, mainly because I don't have any Pokeballs yet. But I do have a nickname in mind already for this cute little guy. And I also have my name picked out here for our starter, Piplup. Of course, we'll get a chance to nickname the starter until we get to Professor Rowan's laboratory. Let's take it to a Pokemon Center. And there's another Bidoof! This one is also at level 2. And, oh, you're gonna lower my attack. We're already gonna start that early on, huh? Just like before, the Beedoof goes down in three hits. But we do not level up quite yet. And, oh, now we got a Starly over here. Okay. Originally, I was going to have a Starly on my team for this, but until I found out the hard way that Murkrow cannot be found in both Curly Diamond and Shining Pearl, only this version. I will probably use Starly, though, for my Shining Pearl team. So for this playthrough here for Curly Diamond, we are going to use a different flying type. Darling, we stop with this. I'm not gonna have any attack left at this rate. <laughs> gonna help us out in the first gym. And we got some potions! Well, I'm glad we talked to this lady here. So let's go into our bag and we got 10 free potions. Nice. Alright, let's go ahead and use one here on Piplup. Boom. 
Okay, there's Sanjit in town, and there's Dawn. Oh, there you are. Come with me. The professor is waiting. And there's Jeffy. Oh, it's you, Mark. That old guy, he's not so scary so much as he is totally out there. Aw, oh, it doesn't matter, Mark. I'm out of here. See you later. What was that? Your friend seems to be really impatient. Well, anyway, let's go inside. Yes, let's do that. Finally, you've come. Mark, was it? Let me see that Pokemon again. I see. This Pokemon seems to be rather happy. Alright, then I'll give the pip up to you as a gift. If that's yours, we'd like to give it a nickname. Yes, we would. And thankfully, it is a male. Yeah, I think generally the consensus... I think how it usually goes is that about 88% of the time or so the starter will be male. Very rare to get a female starter. But this one... We are going to name Pigu! Noo noo! Yes, I am. Your friend Jeff told me what happened at the lake. I heard you battled very well, despite it being your first time. And from what I can see, there's a growing bond between you and that Pokemon, though it's still young. That's why I'd like to entrust you with Pepla. I'm so glad you're kind toward Pokemon. If you weren't, I'd have to. Oh, I just can't say it. Ahem, let's move on to the main topic. There's something I want you to do for me. My name is Rowan. Yes, you already mentioned that earlier. I want to know exactly what kinds of Pokemon live in the Sinnoh region. To do so, it's a series of dealings in the Pokedex. This is what I wish to ask you. I want to entrust you with this Pokedex. Will you use the record all the other Pokemon in Sinnoh for me? Yes, we will. And we get the Pokedex. That Pokedex is a very high tech device. It will automatically record data on every kind of Pokemon you encounter. Mark, I ask you to go everywhere and meet every Pokemon in this region. I've got one too. I bought the root two of your Pokemon when you feel. I've lived for 60 long years. Even now, I get a thrill when I'm with a Pokemon. Now, you should know that there are countless Pokemon in this world. That means there's just the same thrills waiting for you out there. Now go. Mark, your grand adventure begins right now. The Pokemon I used for the first time was Chinchar. If you had chosen Chinchar in the lake, we'd have the same Pokemon now. Um, I don't think so. I don't think that's how it works. It's actually not possible uh, for that to happen, by the way. That really matters, but anyways, I'm Dawn. I also help the professor add pages to the Pokedex, so in a sense, I'm just like you. I just got a little head start on you, that's all. I'll be happy to teach you things. Glad to meet you, Mark. I'm glad to meet you too, Dawn. You seem like a very nice girl here. <laughs> Center, which of course I already know about. I already know about how the Pokemon Center works because well I've been playing Pokemon for years, that's why. I wouldn't exactly call myself a novice trainer, Dawn. I just said I've been playing Pokemon for years, so I think I know what I'm doing. Where is her sister? 
get to find that uh, little girl just got to another for her sister, who is probably older uh, than this little girl over here. <sighs> All right. Anyways, uh. go to let our mother know that we're helping run an errand for Professor Rowan. I guess just like with uh, the original Gen 1 games, we can skip the wild encounters there, like one over those ledges. Okay. Oh, and there's Jeffy's mom. Is my little Jeffy here? Oh, no, he's not. He must have. got a parcel that we now have to deliver to Jeffy. So, let's we gotta make like Mr. McFeely and make a speedy delivery. <sighs> and there's our hat. Go on our adventure. For real, of course. And there is our friend, Bidu. Now we can do better than just a pound this time, because now we've got water guns. Drink some water, Bidu. It's good for you. Mm, okay. Explore this patch of grass here. Yeah, I don't think we did. Another Bidoof. So close to leveling up there. I want to try to get it to level 7 here. Alright, actually, let's check uh, our summary here. Uh, summary... You're serious right now. The 1DXP curse lives on, ladies and gentlemen. up to level 7. And thankfully we get out of that without another encounter. And there's the Pokemon Center. Yeah, just Piplup so far. Okay, no, I, I didn't mean to do that again. Alright, we'll 
Hello. Try a few supplies here. I like Pokeballs. I should say how much money we have. Ooh, 8,000, okay. Alright, I will buy 10. And we get we get a premier bonus, right? Premier ball? Yeah. Still get that. And I'm gonna buy some more potions. Just because I can. So now we got 19 potions. I don't think we're gonna need all of them, but we'll see. And now we will go ahead and save. Yeah, saving is a lot faster in this version than it was on the PS. And that is going to do it for this second episode. We will head toward Jubilife City in the next episode.